Hey everybody, it's Brian with Inspiring How You See That, and we're back with another Artist Spotlight. Uh, this one's going to be a little different, kind of like one we did not too long ago, where we're not just shining it on one individual artist, but we're going to take a look at a handful, at a half dozen. Um, and these ones I'm putting together in what I call up-and-comers. And so these are artists that are on their way to stardom um, and maybe have just started out or been around for a couple years and, and are slowly building a, a following, uh, but are extremely talented. And I have no doubt that, and neither does Kevin, that they are on their way to superstardom. So now's the time to kind of check them out and see what they're doing, follow them and, and you know, jump on that train before they hit that. So uh, we'll go ahead, we'll jump right in. Uh, the first act that we're going to look at, their name is Jump the Fall. Um, this is a rock band from the Boston area that actually, the first time I heard them, I, I actually met them. I, I saw them at a Flaw concert over in Ohio. Kevin and I were both there. And these guys were fantastic. I mean, they put on a great show. Um, we got to hang out with them afterwards. Super nice guys. Very down to earth. Um, just regular, everyday Joes who did a fantastic job with their music. Um, I, I'm actually Facebook friends with a couple of members of the bands and, you know, keep in contact with them. And they, like I said, they're, they're fantastic guys. Uh, the lead singer is Randy Betancourt. Uh, again, they're, they're all up from Boston. Um, Ron Rich is on guitar. Tim Johnson is the bassist. And Steve Kilroy is on drums. Uh, they have an EP that they've put out and I, they're working on new music. Um, so more will be coming, but you can check them out on, on YouTube and Spotify. Uh, some of the songs that you could look up by them are Drown, Close Your Eyes, and Say Goodbye. Uh, these guys are awesome. I, I'm telling you, they are on the verge of, of getting that break and becoming the next big thing in hard rock. So check out Jump the Fall. Let us know what you think of them. Uh, the second artist I want to talk about is a young lady from Australia named Annalise Z. Um, Annalise actually contacted me on Facebook. We became Facebook friends. Um, sweet young girl, uh, young teenage girl from Australia, uh, singer songwriter who does her own like pop style music. And she's super talented. Uh, you can look her up on YouTube and see some of her music. She's, she's a great singer. And even more than that, to know that she wrote those songs and the depth that she has lyrically is, is very impressive. Um, some of the songs that she's done, Beautiful Day, Bright, and Flashback are, are three of the ones that really stand out for me. She also did a cover where she was singing Hallelujah, the one, um, it's been covered by a number of people. My favorite version is John Cale. And she did a great job. I mean, that is not an easy song to sing. Uh, and for a young lady like that to, to pull that off was impressive. So, again, her name is Annalise Z, that's Z E E. Um, fantastic singer, check her out. Uh, the next one we're going to talk about is Atlas Hour. Atlas Hour is a fantastic band that actually just started uh, in 2019. Um, got connected with them through Instagram and seemed like super nice guys, talked to them. Uh, they're really, really good. They actually, their sound, the best way I can describe it, they're kind of a mix of Tool and Star Set. Uh, you put those two together and that's the kind of sound that you're going to get with Atlas Hour. These guys are, are absolutely phenomenal. Um, you can check out some of their songs on, on YouTube. They don't really have videos out now, but they've got um, the you know official audio videos that, that you can listen to. Um, some of the songs, Heart Sounds is, is probably my favorite that I've heard of them. Uh, they also have Reality, Mind, and Cry. Uh, all of them are great songs. Check them out. Um, send them a message. Let, let all these artists know if you go check them out that you were sent there by inspiring how you see that. Uh, that helps us out and that helps them know where people are coming from. So we really appreciate that. Um, the fourth one I'm going to talk about is a sister duo called Wildfire. They're from the Houston, Texas area. Um, I actually found out about them. They had, there was like a thing on Facebook that was talking about them. Uh, they're two teenage sisters and they're really talented. They're a country duo and they're phenomenal. I mean, these, both of these girls can sing and they're just top notch. They seem like sweet girls. Um, and, and they've got a couple of EPs out now and I know that they're working on writing more music, but again, you can see some of their videos on YouTube and follow them. 
Um, some of the songs that they have, uh, Gone in a Flash, Billboard Sign, Young Love, and One, uh, they're, they're all really great songs. So, uh, again, Wildfire, check them out. Let them know that, that we sent you there. The final two that I'm going to talk about um, are, are so extra special for me because they're actually both from my hometown of Erie, PA. And so it's pretty cool to see that in addition to First to Eleven, to Pat Monahan, to War of Ages, that we've got more talented artists coming up um, from Erie. And that's a really cool thing that we're very proud of. Uh, and the first of the two that I'm going to talk about is Brooke Surgeoner. And um, Brooke is, I, I got the opportunity to meet Brooke uh, actually at a First to Eleven show. Um, then we kind of hung out afterwards. Super cool. I, I, I like Brooke a lot. She's an awesome person. Uh, very easy to talk to. Very cool. Very talented. Um, she's been doing music for a few years now. Um, she's a guitar. She kind of has what I'll call like a folk rock sound to her. Um, she does a lot of her own original stuff. She does some like kind of cosplay videos as well, uh, where she's dressing up in different outfits and, and different characters that she takes on. That's not all of her songs, um, but that's some of them. And, and she does a really good job. Um, actually, she uh, dresses up as Disney princesses. Uh, both her and Audra Miller from First to Eleven do for like little girls' birthday parties. They dress up, you know, as characters from Frozen other princesses and they do a, an outstanding job at that um and and that's pretty cool little girls love that they adore that so it's, it's cute to see that um some of the songs that she's done that her own she i don't know my name that's a really cool song i like that a lot she also just recently i want to say like a month ago she did a cover of nsync's it's gonna be me and it's kind of like a folk version of it which uh not a big nsync fan I'll just throw that out there. But the way she does that song, it's really cool. I I really, really liked it. It's you, you got to check out that video on YouTube. Um, she's also done a couple of, of songs with First 211. She's good friends with them. Uh, most notably, her and Audra sang Senorita. Um, they did it as a duet and nailed it. It was absolutely phenomenal. Um, so you, you got to check that out as well. Again, her name is Brooke Surgeoner. Um, she's... Got red hair, you'll see her as, as soon as it comes up. Absolutely awesome person. Let her know that, that Brian from Inspiring How You See That sent you there. Um, and she'll appreciate that. And, and she's on her way to stardom, no doubt. Um, the second one, and actually the final artist I'm going to talk about, very similar. Uh, her name's Brenna Bone. She's from here in Erie. Uh, but now she's actually, she's relocated to Nashville to, to chase her dream, which is awesome. Uh, she's a country singer, very talented country singer. Um, she's actually, like Brooke, she's done um, a song or two with First 211. Um, it just got released within the past couple weeks. It was called The Other Girl, where again, she uh, did a duet with Audra, and it was awesome. She, she nailed it. It was perfect. Uh, she's also done a, a handful of songs with Ryan Kreshak. Ryan is the, the bassist for First 211. And so together they've done I, I, at least, I would say, half a dozen songs that are out on YouTube. Um, most notably, and I love their version of What Ifs, that Kane Brown song. They both nailed it. I, yeah, I, I didn't realize Ryan could sing that well <laughs> until I saw that. Uh, but the two of them together were absolutely phenomenal. It was, it was outstanding. Um, and I believe that Kane Brown saw it and, and, and he commented, and commented to Ryan and let him know that he loved it. So. That's the ultimate compliment right there when the artist that you're covering loves what you're doing. Um, she also has some original songs like Outlaw Angels is awesome. I love that song. Uh, so again, she's down in Nashville now chasing her dreams and I have no doubt in the very new, near future, she's gonna hit big. Uh, she's extremely talented. Um, I've conversed with her on Facebook. I haven't met her yet. Seems like a, a very cool girl. Um, and again, we're, we're really proud that both her and Brooke are from here in Erie and are representing us well. So, you know, again, let it, if you go check out these artists, let them know we sent you. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video and, and we're looking to do more of these kind of spotlights and, and these kind of videos. Um, if there's somebody that you want us to check out, hey, nobody's too small, nobody's too big. 
Um, great music is great music. We love it, and, and we want to let everybody know about it. So um, shoot us a line. You know, put, put a message down at the bottom of this video. Um, shoot us uh, something on Instagram or Facebook. Um, if you like this video, please give us the thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, until next time, we love you guys. God bless, and rock on.